You either love it or you absolutely hate it. Take a shot every time I say the word excited. You'd probably die. But here we are. The feeling is bittersweet. It's giving very floppy. February TBR, which is very ambitious. Um, hey friends, how are you? Welcome back to another video. Today we are going to be filming my very late January wrap up and very late February TBR. My excuse is that I've been moving and the ugly background that I have going on, just ignore that. A cute background is in progress. It's coming, okay? So we are going to start with the books that I read in January. I read seven books in January. That's the least amount of books that I've read in a month since I started reading again. And honestly, it's just because I've been moving. I was packing up my house. Winter break ended. So I went back to school after winter break ended. Work, school, and moving has just been a lot. Haven't had as much time to read, but hopefully once I've all moved in, I can read a little bit more. And I also can't wait for summer to come along so that I have a lot more time to read and work on my YouTube channel as well. Let me open my notion. After I read a book, it just... It's not in my brain anymore. The first book that I read in January was Better Than the Movies by Lynn Painter. It literally feels like I read this a lifetime ago. I'm not even kidding you. I love this book. I think it's so cute. I think this would be such a cute book to read during Valentine's Day. I don't know why. I just feel like it's a very lovey-dovey rom-com. Usually I'm not the biggest fan of rom-coms. I really do like Lynn Painter. And as you can see, I tabbed a few things. I really also want to get more into annotating, so... Anyway, that has nothing to do with I gave Better Than The Movies a five stars. And if you wanna see a more in-depth review, I did one on my Instagram. I haven't been doing too many reviews on books on my Instagram lately, but um, I'm definitely gonna get back to that when I have more time. Then the next book that I read in January was Hunting Adeline. And this is the second book in the cat and mouse duet. And I absolutely love this book. I also gave this five stars. If you plan on reading this duology, definitely look up the triggers because there is some very very graphic stuff in this book especially this book was way more graphic than haunting adeline and there were some parts that were very hard to read i absolutely love this duology you either love it or you absolutely hate it and you're like what the f why does anyone like this there's no middle like it, you either love it or you hate it and i am one of those who loved it if you don't know what the cat mouse duet is about it's about this girl named adeline and guy named zade um basically he stalks her and is convinced that if he stalks her she'll fall in love with him and that's basically what the first book's about this is just a continuation off of the first book it starts off right where the first book ends the difference in character of Zade between the first book and this one is amazing I loved it I love the way he's so gentle and understanding with Adeline because there are some very very traumatic things that happen to Adeline in this book and the fact that Zade is so understanding of Adeline's trauma and wants to help her work through it and also knows how to help her work through it and is so patient it's just so beautiful the banter between Adeline Sibby and Zade is just so funny it's hilarious it cracks me up and yeah I rated this a five stars then I read Addicted for Now which is the third book in the Addicted series this starts off right where Ricochet leaves off and this book's different because now we get Lo and Lily's perspective which before we were only getting Lily so that was nice to see a different person in the series perspective. This book is different because it sort of feels like a filler kind of. It feels like a book that's just introducing us and letting us get to know all of the other characters for the rest of the series to come because there's like seven more books after this. And I know that puts a lot of people off because I know a lot of people don't like this book because they think it's boring but I absolutely love the characters in this series so I love this book. Even though it's all of them just together it I just love when they're all just talking. They're arguing and banter and stuff is just so funny. I feel that the found family aspect really comes together in this book and their flaws just make them feel more real and human minus the part where they're all like mega rich and fly private jets and have limos and shit but you know minus that part. The part where they all have real people real life problems is I don't know it's really refreshing. I gave this book a four stars. I really enjoyed it. I thought it was really good. Every book in the series I don't think any of them will probably be lower than a three stars honestly. <laughs> then I read Kiss the Sky which is the first book in the Calloway Sisters series but when you're reading the Addicted and Calloway Sisters series this is technically the fourth one you're supposed to read so. This is Rose and Connor's story. I love 
love this because this is the first time we get to see other characters besides Lily and Lo and what goes on inside their head. And I absolutely love Connor and I love the way that he treats Rose and also the character development of Rose from the beginning of the book to the end. I don't want to go too in depth with this book because I am working on a video for the Calloway Sister series. So you're going to have to wait for my in depth review, but I did give this a five stars. So I definitely, definitely recommend. Then I read Heartstrings and Other Breakable Things for my reading my highest and lowest rated books on my TBR video. You should definitely go watch that if you want to see a very in-depth review on this book. It's like a, a, a romance. I think it's just romance. I don't think it's supposed to be rom-com. I, I, I don't really think it was funny, but it's like a love triangle trope, which is one of my least favorite tropes. It's just like a cheesy romance. The girl is just awkward, weird, and quirky and stuff. And then the, you know, cool guy who everyone adores and likes has a crush on her, but she doesn't want him. She wants the nerdy boy who has a girlfriend. This isn't a book that I would normally pick up and had I not been reading it for a video, I probably would have put it down. I really wasn't enjoying it. I thought it was kind of boring and slow and I just feel like the story kind of fell flat at some points for me. The dialogue was kind of boring and when there's a lot of dialogue in a story, if it's not really good dialogue, it can get really boring. And the main character is just absolutely horrible. I She does some very morally questionable things in this book and I do not like it. I do not condone. I gave this a two stars. Um, I really didn't like it that much. I mean, it was cute, but then the other book I read for my video was Six of Crows and I absolutely adored this book. The beginning for the first 100, 150 pages was pretty slow and kind of boring, but that's kind of how fantasy books are when you're first starting out, especially since this is the first one. With all the world building and character introducing, there's just only so much that they can do to make it entertaining until you understand the world and the people and what's even going on. I was kind of confused at first with all of the people being introduced because they were all introduced at once and then there were some people that were introduced that weren't weren't even relevant to the story so I feel like that was kind of confusing and threw me off a little bit but it wasn't really that big of a deal because I kind of I figured it out obviously and then after about 200 pages and then like after page 300 it's so action-packed because it's one singular night of activities from all six of their perspectives so I really really like that it was so interesting I didn't want to put it down and I hadn't felt like that about a book in a long time and Six of Crows it was just one of those books you know one of those books that you just don't want to put down and I was very very happy to finally read a book like that again. Obviously I gave this a five stars if you couldn't tell. <laughs> I really really liked it and like I said if you want to see more of my thoughts on this book then you can go watch my video. I uploaded it a week and a half two weeks ago I think. And then the last book that I read in January was Hot House Flower by Kristen and Becky Ritchie, which is the second book in the Calloway Sisters series. So I am now halfway done with the Addicted Calloway Sisters series. The feeling is bittersweet, but this is Rike and Daisy's story. And I was very excited for this because I love Daisy's character and I was so excited to get to her book. She's just such a cool character. She's so chill and laid back. I was really excited to see her character development because she's so much younger than the rest of the characters. There is just a lot of growing that she still had to do. There's not much I can say without giving things away. Daisy and Rike both had very amazing character development. Daisy finally gaining the confidence to stand up for herself and Rike finally being able to open up about things that happened in the past and there were specific bonds in the book that grew and were just very wholesome. I gave Hot House Flower a four stars. It wasn't five star worthy for me. It was still really cute obviously and I still really liked it just not a five stars and I'm very excited to get to with the fourth book in the Addicted series now. <laughs> Okay, and now we are on to my February TBR, which is very ambitious. Um, I really don't think I'm going to read, what, 11, 10 or 11 books? I really don't think I'm gonna read that many or have the time, but here we are. I really wanna read all these this month. These are in no particular order. I'm just picking them up off the stack and showing you them. One book I wanna read in February is The Do-Over by Lynn Painter. Everyone is literally reading this book this month um, because it's staged on Valentine's Day, so it's literally perfect for February. And it's basically about this girl named Emily and she lives the same day over and over again, which is Valentine's Day. I am currently like 50 pages in and so far it's really cute. I'm excited to see how it compares to better than the movie. 
movies because I really, really like better than the movies. Take a shot every time I say the word excited, you'd probably die. Then I went to read Crooked Kingdom because I finished Six of Crows last month. I think it's a trilogy now. I'm pretty sure Leigh Bardugo said she was coming out with a third book. Correct me if I'm wrong, but that's really exciting because I don't know if the ending of this is happy or sad or not. I have tried my best to stay away from spoilers about this series until I finish it. So I would like to read this this month so I don't accidentally spoil it for myself. Yeah, I really like Six of Crows, so I'm super excited to see where the story goes in Crooked Kingdom. Another book I want to read is A Little Life, and this is a book everyone has been reading lately and a lot of people read in 2022. Um, it's a very popular book. I've just really been wanting to read it. It's a super long book. It's like 800 pages, so I don't know if I will be getting to it, but a girl can dream, you know? It's giving very floppy and I love it. But yeah, this book is about four boys, I think, and it's just like the brotherly bond. It's just their life and their struggles that they go through as young men. I know it's very sad and I'm a sucker for sad books, so count me in. I will maybe be reading this this month. Another book we have is Icebreaker, which is a book I've been wanting to get to for so long. This is a hockey romance slash figure skating romance. It's a sports romance. She's a figure skater. He's a hockey player. It's a grumpy sunshine. I know that she's the grumpy one, I'm pretty sure. February is the month of love, so I feel like reading a lot of romances is a really good idea. <laughs> and this is one that I've really been wanting to get to, so I definitely hope that I read this because I've heard a lot of good things. I've heard it's very spicy too, so. Another book that I want to read slash I'm in the middle of reading, so I guess it's kind of cheating, I don't know, but it's Corrupt, Penelope Douglas. I think that's who it's by. I'm reading it on my Kindle and I'm like about halfway through. If you want to hear my opinion on it, you're gonna have to wait and watch my February wrap up at the end of the month and hopefully I finish it because I'm already halfway through, so I might as well finish it. It's kind of really confusing me. I don't really know if I like it. Then we have Thrive by Kristen. This is the fourth book in the Addicted series. I would really like to get to this this month because I'm trekking through the Addicted Calloway series. I'm working through it and since I'm doing a video specifically on the Calloway sister series, not the Addicted series, I have to read this one and Addicted after all before I get back into Calloway sister series and obviously I want to work on the video. So this is definitely a goal for this month. Lillian Lowe, the OGs. Then we have Juniper Hill, which I know is the second book in the series and I have not read in to go Ridge, but I know you can technically read them as standalone. I've had this on my shelf for a few months and I love the cover so much. Green is my favorite color. I don't really read small town romances, so I felt like I should add one in here just to switch it up a little bit. It's really not switching much up, but I thought this would be a fun little read and I wanted to pick some shorter books because I feel like a lot of these are pretty thick. Then we have Her Body and Other Parties, which is also another one of my little shorter reads that I picked. This is a book that has eight short stories about the reality of women's lives and what they go through. I've heard a lot of interesting things about this book and I want to form my own opinion. So I've been wanting to read this. Short stories I do really well with. I feel like they're very refreshing, such a palate cleanser, and I think this will be a, a good book. Then I wanted to throw a little fantasy in there because we only have one fantasy book this month. So I did a little fantasy romance and we're gonna be reading maybe going to be reading Brutal Prince by Sophie Lark. And I've been wanting to get into Sophie Lark's books and this series specifically because I got the first four books in the series for Christmas. So I would really like to get into it. This is like a mafia romance, but it's also fantasy. I think that's basically what I've gathered. I love the covers. I love the little new covers. Then we have Part of Your World by Abby Jimenez. Everybody's been reading this one lately too. And I want to, I want to join the party. I want to be able to to relate to what people are saying, you know? This is a age gap romance, except I think the girl is older. They're a part of two completely different worlds. She's a city girl and he's a small town kind of guy with a goat. I, I kind of like to go into books blind, so I don't really like to know too much. I think it's more fun that way, but I love the cover of this. I think it's so freaking cute. And then the last book on my TBR, Fourth February, just to break up the romance a little bit because I feel like there's a lot of romance on there. We have His and Hers by Alice Feeney, which is another little shorter one and also a thriller. Um, I've only read one thriller and it was Rock, Paper, Scissors by Alice Feeney. And I thought it was pretty good. And I've heard a lot of good things about His and Hers as well. So I want 
want to give it a little try. I literally know nothing about what this is about. And I guess we're going to keep it that way. I feel like that's a good way to go into thrillers because I feel like it's more thrilling <laughs> that way. Just to give us a little bit of a different genre here. Thrillers! And we have come to the end of the video. I'm sorry the lighting has progressively gotten worse. The sun has just completely gone down now. So this is what we're left with. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to hit the subscribe button so you can see me enjoy all of these books and maybe possibly give you my opinion on some of them this month. And yeah, I'll see y'all in my next one. Bye guys.